So, the European dream is over. Now we have to try and salvage something from our domestic season. Hard work ahead. Hard work ahead, boys. We'll see what we can do. So this is how we find ourselves currently. You can see we're playing crack off today. There's a reason for that and we'll get to it in a minute. Unless you read the episode title, in which case you probably figured it out. Um, since we last met, which was the game against... Oh, I've got that filtered down by league games. I didn't want to do that, did I? Didn't want to do that. I was I was looking to see how we were in terms of relation to last year. We had 10 points at this point last season. We currently have 11, so slightly better. But since we last met, which was the last Sudova game, um, we had lost to Rakov. Um, Placetta coming back into the team and getting himself a goal. Uh, I say coming back into the team, coming back into the first team in the league. Um, but unfortunately, they were able to grab two goals after us and show us why they're currently top of the league. Um, I then organised like a little tournament against some um, European opposition because I'm trying out a new tactic. Uh, I needed to get the players used to it to see if it'll work. The local police now hate me because I got Besiktas, Fenerbahce and Olympiakos all in the same place. And uh, things didn't go well. We finished bottom of the league, which was fine. Uh, because you, as you can see over here, very few actual first team players got involved. But somehow that still helps things. I don't fully understand it. I'm not even going to pretend to. I just know it works. Um, we then played Sandecha, um, and we beat them one that was our first win since, what, the beginning of the season, pretty much, since Stal Mielec. Uh, Sandecha are pretty much the whipping boys of the league, but Placetta got himself a goal. I was hoping for bigger margins, bigger margins did not come, so that's, that's an unfortunate thing. Stiglitz put in a good performance though, so did Placetta. Joe Ledley having uh, the time of his life back in the team a little bit too. Uh, but as you will start to see, there is a theme building because Kaziah Sterling is not scoring despite being brought in to lead the line and score goals. Um, and then we've had a nil-nil against Lecce Gdansk um, <coughs> in which nobody played particularly well and I had to substitute a sub because Guajis uh, got himself hurt. Which meant that Largi Ramazzani, the Liverpool, sorry, the Manchester United, that's a mistake to make. The Manchester United youngster, youngster we brought in got to make his league debut. Um, he was okay. Um, he only played about 10 15 minutes, but he was okay. Uh, had a decent performance. So today we're playing Krakow and Stomil in the FA Cup. Uh, Krakow, of course, in the league. And uh, yeah, let's get into it and we'll see what we can achieve. I believe, transfer wise, we've done. Nothing of note, but I'll check because it's been at least one sleep since I've recorded the last episode. Also, Zdenek Svoboda is about to leave us to become manager of a divisional rival. I brought in Jay Henderson, that's right, I brought in Jay Henderson because one of our loanees, or one of our players, was unhappy that he didn't have any friends. So, it was Matty Folds, he was unhappy he didn't have any friends, he wanted an ex-teammate to come in, so I just loaned whoever St Mirren, who were his last club, had on loan. You'll never see him play. He's just there to keep Matty Folds happy. So he's got a friend and he's costing me nothing to sit around. He's probably going to learn more with me than he would have done in Scotland. So this is today's lineup for this league game. Um, you will see Sherpin in goal, the Ajax keeper we brought on loan. Dankowski starts at right back. Ratchich and, Dag and Raggett are in the middle. Um, Ratchet starting ahead of Puerto because Ratchet is slightly better in the air and I was told they this is a team that's good attacking through the air. Um, Dino Stiglitz at left back, Ledley and Longstaff in the middle. You can see we made some changes to the formation. It's a tiki taka Gagan press hybrid designed to create possession and lots of pressing, you would hope. Um, <laughs> you would hope. Um, yeah, sorry, Masonda plays on the right wing. Lachas is playing as the advanced playmaker. Placetta on the left. And Akiero right has come in as the man up top again. Because he's currently an advanced forward. Give him a couple of games. We'll be back to being a pressing forward again. Um, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully he can get himself back amongst the goals. Because his performances need to improve. Um, 
we've got Finson Puerto, Arce, Slattery, Holovnia back, who's a youth teamer who's been filling in at right back for Dankowski. I've been testing him out just to see what he can do. Nico Williams, Kazaya Sterling and Ramazzani on the bench. So, let's see what we can do. So now we can see the two lineups, and you'll uh, you'll see why the big headlines. The big signing of the transfer window in all of Poland was Nicholas Bentner. Lord Bentner has come to Poland, which you know is quite a quite a feat for them to sign. He's still 32. It's not like he's an old player. He's got 81 caps for Denmark. Scored 30 goals. Uh, spent last season playing for FC Copenhagen. Um, yeah, he's had a bit of a journey since he left Forest. To be fair, he's played for Rosenberg in Norway. Yeah, he's had he's had a time of things since leaving Arsenal, hasn't he? But he's still very much a legend of world football. The other big player they've got that I noticed is this guy, uh, Mihailic, or Mihailic even, um, who is. I don't know why it's done that. That's a random thing for it to do. There we go. Uh, Jaroslav Mihalik, uh, the Slovak international, who um, I've definitely come across before in FM, and he's been good. So that's slightly terrifying. That's our lineup as we see it. So it looks like things haven't changed much on the surface, but I've made like proper tweaks to the uh, tactic on the on the underside just to see what we can do with it. I'd like to think, I don't know why it's organising it like that, that's really bizarre. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we can do something, something special today. That's, that's the dream at least. So we'll see what we can achieve. I'd like us to maybe, I'd, I'd take a 1-0, I'd take a hard for 1-0, we're playing a bit more cautiously than usual as well, we're not, we're not going fully uh, positive. I uh, just want to sit back and kind of soak up some pressure and see what we can achieve as Dombrowski has a... Uh, Dankowski, sorry, has a throw in. Lachas now has the ball. Ball inside. A Kiari right gets one go, gets another go. He still can't score, and it was just there sitting on a plate for him. Just absolutely on a plate for him. It's almost offensive how badly he messed that up. Uh, let's Let's get creative. Get creative as often as we possibly can is going to be the key to this tactic, I think. Um, try to see if we can inspire them. But Akira Wright should have done so much better with the opportunity. That's really disappointing. Lord Bentner has had a shot and he has not succeeded. Lord Bentner, I think, is the reason I was warned to have two big centre-halves that are good in the air uh, for this game because we all know that he is a cracking player if the ball gets to his head. He will put it away. Lachas is having a decent game, though. By far the best player on the pitch. Maddie Longstaff has been booked, which is not what we want to see from him, but we'll see what we can do with it. We're just going to keep shouting get creative until they actually get creative. That's pretty much my plan, because it's the only feedback they ever seem to listen to. I don't know why, but it is. Although we're not seeing much creativity from either of our wingers, which is frankly very disappointing. Uh, I'm going to hand over that. Oh, tell them they did well in their efforts. Rexham, okay, we'll do that. Um... He's on his way out, he doesn't care. But what I'm, I'm going to do actually is tell Masondra and Placetta, and in fact Longstaff, and Akiere Wright, that they can do better. There's more to come from you. Why didn't that work for all of you? Oh, because I didn't use selected players. That's why. There we go. Didn't do much more to G them up, but hopefully that giving them that little touch of extra personal attention might get a performance out. Alomarovic with the goal kick plays it forward. We have let Mihailik have way too much space. Dankowski makes the tackle though and Lashas picks it up. Ratchet all the way back to uh Sherpen. Oh, almost said uh Kushak then. Uh Ratchet picks it back up and a ball forward. To Masonda. Can Masonda make his second half performance better than his first? He can't. He's given it away, and Mihailik has absolutely made us look ridiculous. Ratchet back to Sherpen. What? What? This should have been the easiest clearance in the world, right? This isn't just me. Ratchet plays it back. 
Sherpa just had to hoof it anywhere except directly at Sean Raggett for an own goal. And that's utterly appalling. That's going to deserve a concentrate shout because he was not paying attention. Ratchet ball over the top to Masonda. We really need a quick reply here. Masonda finds Ledley on the inside. Lashars back to Ledley. Ledley finds Longstaff into Lashars again. These three are playing really well together. Placetta through to right. Akiero right finally scores a goal. And it's going to be offside. It's going to be offside, isn't it? Of course it's going to be offside. Ah, uh, it was his toe. That's not even a real offside. What is that about? Ah, oh, that was just... Oh, so frustrating. So frustrating. I still thought that was the dictionary definition of level. Like, he wasn't gaining any advantage from having his toe offside, was he? Ah, oh, goal puts the ball forward, though. Mihailik is going to try and make trouble again. Ball inside. Hopefully, Placetta is going to pick this ball up. He's going to hit them on the counter, and we're going to actually see some kind of performance out of the team today. Ball back to Stiglitz. Stiglitz through to Lashas. Lashas back to Stiglitz. Come on, someone do something with this. Into Ledley. Joe Ledley, you can create stuff. Finds Masonda out wide. Masonda should be able to get something, and he does. Placetta at the back post is over the bar. This has not been a performance to write home about. Overwhelmed by the feedback is what we're getting so far. So let's tell him to get. Let's tell him to show some passion. Masonda is very much going to make his way off the field um, because his performance has been utterly atrocious so far. Don't foul him, Stiglitz. Don't foul him. Oh, taking the corner. I'm going to break the golden rule. I'm going to make a sub whilst we're waiting for, waiting on a corner. Although I say I'm going to make a sub. I don't even know who I want to bring off at this point. Let's take off Masonda because he's just frustrating. The same thing on Bliarche, but he can't play that role. Uh, I'm going to try Ramazzani again. I feel like he's got something to prove. Although he's going to give away, he's going to give a penalty now, isn't he? You watch him give a penalty for that foul that Stiglitz just did. That little tiny nip he had at that guy's toes. This VAR is utterly destroying us today. He's reviewing the footage. What's he seeing? Is he seeing anything? He's going to give the penalty, isn't he? It's not a penalty. We've, we've escaped. We've escaped the silliness of VAR twice in one game and let's see what we can do here they've got a corner Ramazzani has come on hopefully he will have some drive and desire to achieve something for us I need to do a great get creative shout again I need to look at some options the Chiari Wright is doing absolutely nothing up top again he's being absolutely atrocious so Kaziah Sterling is in fact going to make his way onto the field and then at least one sub that at this rate is going to be Placetta I don't want to have to take Placetta off. He's been playing well recently and Arce has not. So we need to see some big improvements in the next 10 minutes and hopefully a get creative shout will lead to that. Ramazzani, oh sorry, Dankowski has picked up the ball on the right flank. Now Ramazzani comes into the game. Ramazzani back to Joe Ledley. Ledley could have had a pop there. He plays in Lachas to Placetta. Longstaff. Matty Longstaff so unlucky to be denied a goal right there. Oh, it could have gone so much better. It could have gone so much better na than that. Ah, uh, Joe Ledley's going to take the corner, and hopefully Joe Ledley can achieve something. Can he achieve something? Ratchet just picked up the ball. He just doddles, just does nothing with it. Stiglitz to rag it. Someone get that ball forward. I've got to switch to a more positive playing mentality at this point, and I think I'm going to have to make that sub because Placetta is not involved in this game at all. I know Matty Longstaff is desperately about to give himself booked. Give Billy Arce one chance to to impress me because he hasn't done it so far. Not even slightly. This would be a time for him to show up. This would be the time for him to make himself a hero. One last get creative shout because they occasionally listen and let's see if we can get a ball into the goal and pick up the equaliser. That would be ideal. It's not going to happen. We're going into added time. 
the time is going to tick away. We're going to lose another game, and I just need to make some wholesale changes to this team. And I don't know where they're going to come from because the transfer window is shut and I have no money regardless. That was utterly shocking. And we've beaten ourselves, which is the most frustrating thing. We've beaten ourselves. Oh. Right, guys, I'm going to skip right ahead to the uh, the Stomil FA Cup game and you are going to see some players you've not seen before because I need answers. So we're back and... Um... We're now going to play Stömiel in the cup. We're supposed to get to the semi-final as a minimum of this cup. And Stömiel are currently sitting top of the league below. Um, which is a bit of a turnaround since so I last checked in them. And the reason I've been checking in on them is uh, because their best player is Harry Charsley. Who is on loan from us. And therefore, you'd presume, unavailable today. Uh, he is. And uh, Paleszewski as well. Also on loan from us. Although he was suspended and wouldn't have played anyway. There's also another guy, I want to say it was Muskowski, um, I'm sure there was someone else they bought from us as well. Maybe not. Either way, um, I wish I could have sworn Palaszewski was ours. He is ours, he's just not showing up as being on loan from us. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, let's get, let's get into the game. I've made a lot of changes for this one. Um, we are marginal favourites. Both teams' form is currently inconsistent. There's arguably slightly better. But I said I was going to uh, ring some changes because I need to figure out why this isn't working. If it's the change of formation, if it's the players, if people aren't putting enough effort in. So I've made some big changes. Some players have come in who, are not, who have not been featuring recently but who are training well at the very least. Um, so if we check by Finson. No, he's in his best position for this formation. Um, yeah, players who've been training well, who have been on the fringes of the team, have come in. Players from the youth team who are having, or the seconds that are having good performances, have come in. Uh, players, I just, I need ideas from people, so I've brought people in. Is essentially what's happened. So let's go through the team before I do that. So Sherpins in goal: Dankowski, Puerto, Raggett, who hopefully won't score another stupid own goal today. Uh, are at the back alongside Olivier Viper, who I think we've seen, uh, maybe? No, we haven't seen yet. Olivier Viper has come in. He is um, one of the upcoming left-backs in the youth team. We've got a few actually coming up. Um, we've got Jankovic, who's on loan from Southampton. We haven't seen this season. He's played one game as a sub for us. I think he was with us last season, played a couple of games. I think you saw him. Last thing's going to do an awkward thing again because I clicked in the wrong place, you watch. Um, yeah, uh, so Jankovic is coming in the centre of midfield with Finson, who needs to start showing me what I loaned him for in the first place. Nico Williams, he's actually a right, a right back, but he can play on that right wing. I said right wing back even. Um, I thought I'd give him a run out just to see what he can do there. He's, uh, he's fairly quick. Good enough to play on the wing. We might switch to a proper winger later on. We'll see what happens. This guy, uh, Tomasz Mamis. This is definitely his debut for the club. I've not used him before. Um, but he's been training really well lately. Uh, if I can find the training tab. There we go. 835 his current training rating. So he is certainly competent for the role he's in. We'll see if he's ready to play. Le Chars is going to play on the left wing for us. Uh, Akira Wright is starting up top because I'm hoping a smaller team, you know, maybe maybe he'll decide to beat them and make a point. Maybe. Um, and if he doesn't, then we've got Sterling on the bench alongside Vucevic, who's the second team's first choice goalkeeper. Uh, this guy, uh, David Agbontahoma, who I brought in from Southampton on a free during the summer. Again, he's been training well, so I thought I'd see what he had to offer me. Uh, back, we've played a couple of times. I don't think he's played on the channel. Um, in fact, he's played, only played once. Uh, he looks good, and he is currently wanted by Lutz for a transfer, which I'm not going to allow, because uh, I think he's the guy replacing Dankowski long-term. Uh, Diego Stiglitz, we know. I don't know why I clicked on him. We know him. Joe Ledley is the next guy down. Ramazzani, we've seen in the, in the last match. Placetta, we know. This guy, Michael Saunders. Um, another upcoming attacking midfielder I brought in from Southampton. Uh, he is currently wanted for loan by Port Vale. Uh, but a good performance today. Could see him becoming a, f a regular first teamer. Then, of course, Keziah Sterling. 
So let's get into this. Because that's what needs to happen. We'll give a bond to Homer. You can't have a number four on your debut, son. Come on. You're a young lad. You can have 57. That looks way better. You can be you can be Mr. Hines. Um, and then we'll get into the game. And I'm saying this very hopefully. This team should be strong enough to beat them. Because very few of the, Like Charlesley, who's their best player, might have played today. Nobody else they have on loan from us would have played. And nobody else on their team, I think, is good. Also, we lost the assistant manager. So I have to do my own team talk. Um... We're going to do that one and tell them that, and that worked out beautifully. Um, and we're going to do a whole bunch of, uh, you have, no, let's do an assertive. I want to see a good performance today. That scared Akiere right, I think. Oh, it's Jankovic that's scared. We'll see. And a tunnel interview, because we all have a tunnel interview. You come into this one having struggled late while your opponents are riding the crest of a wave. Do you anticipate another bad day at the office today? I don't think that's a phrase they'd have in Polish. But we'll go with it. Um, it's going to be hard to get a result. We're looking forward. Can you talk through the changes? Uh, I need to... Yeah, we'll, rot we'll say we're rotating. Pierce to hand a role that doesn't really suit him. How do you know what role he's been handed? That's the ultimate question. You copy up a film. I trust him. Oh, apparently someone's messaging me and I forgot to turn my phone to silent. You've chosen to leave La Bamba Masandra out of your starting eleven with his place going to someone else. Are you therefore not interested as interested in this competition as you are as some others? Uh, no. Um, I just want to see what other players can do because Masonda surely has done nothing in recent times. So hopefully we can get a result here. Um, if not, I'm probably getting fired. And it's been nice knowing you. Good job I had something else working to work on. Um... But uh, we'll see what we can do. We've shouted get creative. Nobody has got creative. Le Chars is looking tired. And there's no good reason why he should be looking tired. He's barely played recently. Um, let's do another get creative. Because eventually... The, there you go. They've got inspired by the feedback. Now we just need them to convert that inspiration into goals. In fact, I don't know why I'm uncautious. They're a smaller team. Let's go positive. Because I'm... I try, I'm trying this new tactic out, but if it doesn't work in the first half, then we'll go back to the old one. Because even though I know it's not great, we know it's won as a league title. So, therefore, it seems logical to assume it's good enough to beat a team from the league below us, no matter how bad our form is. And it is, of course, very possible that I've just picked a very weak team today. Um, I'm going to do an aggressive, I'm far from pleased. They look fired up, except Thomas Mammoth. Well, tell him there's no pressure on him, because, uh, you know, why not? Um, we are going to change back to this formation. The, in fact, was it the Gagan? No, it's because I've moved, it's because I added the formation. Right, we'll change back to this formation. I think that suits the player slightly better. Um, and if it doesn't, then we'll, why is it doing this? That's so annoying. Uh, one thing I might change is swap the winger on support there. And Lachas is able to play as an inside forward. And we'll see what happens. Akiere Wright doesn't like playing as a pressing forward, but hopefully if he scores a goal, he'll he'll find a way to enjoy it. You never know. Finson now picks up, picks up the ball, gives it away straight over. Raggett has made it offending. Uh, Finson to Maris. Mamis, sorry. Finson back to Vipper. Or Wiper. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, Finson to Jankovic. Jankovic into Williams, who has a chance to make him make a name for himself here. Dankowski is on the run now. What can Dankowski do? Plays the ball back inside to Finson. You'd think Finson would have a pop from range. He's not going to. Lachas to Mamis. Mamis needs to turn and hit this. He turns, he hits it, he misses by inches. Whoa. Could have gone better, but at least we had a go. We're absolutely dominating on possession. You just can't win a football match on possession. And now Kerry Wright has been taken down. We've got a free kick on the edge of the box. And who's going to step up and be the hero here? Anyone? Someone? Dankowski's over it. What can he do? He's going to take a pop. Oh, it's off the butt, off the post. And Selevsky has got rid of it. Lachas is exhausted. He is coming off. Uh, we're going to send Placetta in there because that's the obvious sub to make. We're going to take off Dankowski as well. We're going to send him back. Um, 
and then it's going to become a case of how much do I trust Akira Wright, how much do I trust Nico Williams to be there. And in fairness, I could have moved Nico Williams back to right back and he'd have been far more comfortable. Um, I'm also aware that Sean Raggett is going to start tiring out very soon. Let's do another get creative because something has to break this deadlock and it may, might just be that. Sean Raggett's having a good game so I can't justify taking him off. Nico Williams is not having the game of his life. He's out of position so I'm not going to hold it against him. In fact I might bring... Can Keziah Sterling play as a right winger? There doesn't seem to be a good reason why he couldn't play as a right winger. Um, let's make him the inside forward this time because he is after all a striker. Um, and let's make Placetta the winger. I know I keep switching these guys around hoping it will make a difference. Also, Thomas Mammis, I believe his best position is as a shadow striker, so that's extra bodies in the box. Theoretically, we'll see how that goes and see if we can make a difference. Keziah Sterling, if he can make a difference from the right wing, would be very beneficial to us. Um, Plachette has got himself a corner. He whips it in. Finson gets his head to it. It's just over the bar. Oh, I still want to see this team do so much more than it is. Just not not a lot happening. Placette is going to pick this up though. Can he cross it straight in? You'd hope so. You'd want so. Get it in. Get the cross in. Oh, I went looking for a Kiere Wright. Didn't find him. Placette though gets the ball back. Wiper gets himself across. A Kiere Wright. Oh, so close. If I ever thought a game he he was going to score, it would be against a team significantly weaker than us. But so far, what is written has not come to pass, and it's going to go to extra time. And I don't like extra time. Uh, we need to show we've been the better team. That's a good plan. Uh, who is not performing? Akira of Wright, of course, is not performing because why would he? Uh, you need to be better. He looks motivated and inspired. Good. Um, we will save the rest of the team talks for another day. Hopefully now I've inspired Akira Wright to look inspired. Then something will happen. But extra time is going to be an absolute killer for us. And actually what might happen is I might find myself making a complete change of tactic. And just all out going for it here. Because it feels like that's going to be what gets us a win. Unless Placetta does something here. Cross in. Headed over the bar. There's just nothing coming to us, is there? There's nothing coming to us. Get creative again for the last 30 seconds of the first half. We'll see what we can... I mean, the defence are having a really good game, but if the defence are having a really good game, what that means in real terms is that their attacker are having a really good game and we're being forced to defend against them. Uh, let's just overwrite this one very briefly because uh, I want to go with a route one. Is there a, is there a route... Come on, let's do the thing where I read. Catanacho is the awful defensive one. 4-2-4 wide on attack. That's, there is a plan forming here. Uh, Mamis can play up top, but actually I don't particularly want him to. Um, I'm going to bring him inside so he's a little bit more comfortable, maybe. Um, let's swap those two round. This will make tactical sense, I promise thee. Uh, do I want you as a playmaker? I don't. I probably want you as an attacking Mazala. Uh, Mamis, you can stay as an attacking midfielder. Uh, Sterling, you are going to be the pressing forward on attack. Akira Wright is going to be the advanced forward on attack. Desperate, you can see I'm desperately trying to get goals out of this team. Uh, Wide midfielder seems to suit Finson, so we'll use him as a wide midfielder. This is the craziest formation I've used in a long time. Let's hope it can achieve something. Let's get creative. In fact, let's show some passion. They're fired up, but are they fired up enough to get a winning goal? Let's hope so. placetta has got a free kick. Whips that in from deep. Akira right gets his head to it. It's over the bar again. He's at least looking like he's trying now. Maybe what he needs is a strike partner. Maybe two up top is the way we go with him. And Sterling. 
We find a goal that way. Placetta takes another free kick into a carry of right, but the keeper has got his hands to it. And hopefully we can keep our heads about us because they're going to try and hit us on the counter and win this game with a late break. You can feel it coming. They are going to try and hit a late break. They've got their head to it. Someone needs to defend this. Puerto has defended. He's the captain today. He needs to be leading by example. Sherpin. Don't kick it straight at someone. He's managed not to kick it straight at someone. Kicks out of Sean Raggett, but in the proper way this time. Sterling's picked up the ball. Lech now, though, and now they're going to try and break us down. This highlight's going on far too long for it not to end up in a, in, with a ball in the net. Lech playing the ball to Malloy. Malloy back to Lech. What can we What can we see? What can we do? Whippet has broken it down. Jankovic, long ball forward. Kazaya Sterling's after it. Can he find a Chiari right in the middle? He's not looking for him. He's looking for Placetta, who's found right the long way. Right from distance. A Chiari right finally scores a goal. It's taken 11, 12, maybe 13 hours of football, but he's finally found a goal, and it was a good goal. And I'm starting to think maybe, maybe two up top is the answer I've been looking for which is going to make things awfully difficult with the squad I have, because they're certainly not built for two up top. But, if we have to adapt to overcome, we'll adapt to overcome. That's pretty much what I'm saying. That's that's good. Now I just need them to concentrate, to hold on to this. Back gets it clear. Two minutes left on the clock, and Akira Wright has picked up the ball. Hopefully he's motivated by having scored one goal, and is now sniffing another. Someone's got to pick it up. Finson's picked up. The wide midfielder. I never use a wide midfielder. It doesn't make sense to me. Back needs to react quicker to that. Mamis. What can Mamis do? He's lost the ball and now Kal Kalnowski is going to hoof it up top. But Puerto to rag it. Ball forward now. I thought Sterling had picked that up there. But placetta has got it. If, if Sterling get in the box, give him two options. We could be golden here. Sterling is behind him. Oh, Keziah Sterling almost had his first goal for the club. And that would have put the game out of reach. We should be winning on sheer fitness alone. I've got a feeling I have a third sub I can make. I don't know why, but I could have swore a four sub I can make. Because that looked like they had four subs on the field. And if they do in fact have four subs on the field, then Sean Raggett is coming off. Um, looks like they do have an extra time. We'll, we'll take Sean Raggett off. Does Mamis, is Mamis able to come off as well? He's not. We can't make any more. Okay, well we learnt we've got a four substitution in injury time. Could have known that earlier. That would have helped me immensely. Um, in the meantime, though, we're still defending. So m m less shadowing, more tackling. Raggett's got it. This could be his last contribution of the game. A big hoof forward to Kiari right into Kaziah Sterling. Kaziah Sk Sterling is clean through on goal. Can he bury it? Oh! I thought he'd done it, but Leshinsky got his hand to it. Kept them in the game. And this should be towards the end of the game now. We're pretty much just waiting for a whistle. It's the narrowest of wins against a team we should be on paper much better than. But we'll take the narrow wins. Sometimes you need a narrow win. And hopefully we're coming to a final whistle. Although they are still in possession. The ref hasn't blown the whistle. You can feel the crowd whistling. You can almost hear it in your head, the crowd whistling. It's a long shot from Ganeshik. That was ambitious at best but it shows you just how desperate they are to get a result against us and that should be the final score it is the final score a Kerry right finally finally shows up to play for us um do we have advice for anyone i don't think we need to address anything specific right now uh i'm gonna cautiously say i'm far from pleased they seem confused and demotivated they should because I shouldn't have to tell them that. I should just be pleased with what I saw. But I wasn't pleased. And now we're through the first round. And he played over 13 hours without a goal before his 113th minute strike. 13 hours without a goal for a striker that got 18 last season. That was excellent. Hopefully that will get his confidence back. And we need to see where we're coming back for next episode whilst I try and calm myself down. Because that was a bit panicky. Um, do you know what? It seems written in the stars that we should come back for the game against Shag Levy because they have brought in some big old players. And unless we get someone big in the cup, I think we'll play Brook Bet to Malika next because they just stole my assistant manager. And I like revenge. 
Um, right, in the meantime, guys, if you've been enjoying this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, ring the bell so you know when the next episode goes up. Socials are below. Hit me up on the socials. Uh, I've been Chasing Lamely, and until next time, have a good one.